Hello and welcome again, my beautiful Capricorns. Here is your extended reading for the week of March the 20th to the 26th. 23. Okay, we always have the career and finance, romance, relationships, outcome card, and your focus card. This week, the focus deck that I have chosen is the Moonology deck. So let's see what we have here for the money, the finances. Well, we're seeing things are working out here for you. Um, you've got the coins, which is excellent. Um, and I do think that money will be coming in. You're working with the right people. You also have the Ten of Pentacles, and that is success in finances too. The sun, best card in the deck. We know that. Uh, so success is coming into you, and a lot of you, it might have to do with your job, career, um, and also uh, the fact that you, it could be your own personal business too that you, you're doing. They're telling me the funding is coming in. That's what Spirit's saying. The download they're giving me. The funding is coming in. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Well, you have the crown and you have the gold, so you can't ask for anything better. I mean, you're overcoming any obstacles you might have experienced in the past, and you have the ability now to, to be in the power play position. Uh, you are definitely, um, I mean, I just saw the chess game, and you just pff, won the game. Um, you know, those are obstacles and hurdles that you had to overcome, you've done that. You're going to see some wealth coming in here. We talked about that here with the coins. We've talked about that here with the Ten of Pentacles, and the crown is confirming that again. A lot of you might be, um, you know, you might be the owner or the president or the CEO of your own company here, and you're taking charge of the situation. You've got this ability to do that, uh, Capricorn. You have that authority, and you, you, you sit in the seat of power very comfortably and confidently. This is progress for you. Now, look what you got. You didn't get the nugget, Capricorn. You got the gold bar. So this is solid finances, something that you have maybe invested into, and now you're going to see that it had integrity and deep values and it comes across for you it comes through for you I do think that you uh, you may have been dealing with banks uh, and lending and loaning institutions for possible investment reasons and this is going to be long term for you um, this 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 situation with your finances is going to be everlasting from what I'm seeing here it's satisfying work if your business and your job whatever you're doing uh, Capricorn you're gonna find that it's going to be satisfying work for you I mean why wouldn't it right uh, you're getting noticed for what you do you're getting rewarded for what you do I mean this is a wonderful reading of getting the the financial support and financial reward for what you've applied yourself what you've had to do what you've worked hard for okay let's see what we need to see about relationships whether they're to do with partners and at work uh, colleagues whether it's love whether it's um, friendship you know this can be love mate playmate life mate marriage uh, or single let's see what we have here that you need to pay attention to okay well they're throwing them out here very very quickly and strongly <clears throat> and they've given you three so let's see what we have Okay, so you're calling in your soulmate. Um, you may uh, you may be getting over uh, a relationship in the past, and it's time for you to release your ex. This can be years ago. Maybe you've been out floundering in the dating world, and you just haven't found yourself the right person, the one. Because back in your mind, you may be making comparisons, or you may feel that it's not going to work because of your previous relationships. The time's come to clear that energy. Okay, you have to let the past go, and we let it go with, you know, with, with, you know, with forgiveness, we don't have to condone it. We don't have to think about the the unhappiness or the reasons that things happened. We just need to let it go. So release your ex in order for you to keep continuing on this quest to call in your soulmate. But listen to me. It says your prayers and affirmations and visualizations are going to help bring you together. So that's about you being confident. <clears throat> that's about you getting out there and networking yourself walking in your light and letting people know who you are and what you have to offer them in a relationship and we can't get that if we're sitting on the couch at home waiting for mr or mrs miss Wright to knock on the door and sweep us off our feet 
we've got to get out there and you know the only way you're going to get out there is if you're part of organizations groups you're around people or you have to get out on some dating app and um, I've seen lots of success and myself included on dating apps I met great people uh, a lot of them were famous people wonderful people I never had any bad relation any bad uh, situations occur from it I know it can be a nightmare out there but you have to go out there with optimism and confidence and that's why we have delete buttons right? Uh, you know, that's as simple as it is. So you're calling in your soulmate, you're, 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 you're asking for what you want, but you've got to get out there and make yourself active and, and, uh, and, you know, visible. So the next card you have is children. Your love life is being affected by children. So some of you that may be in a relationship right now, or waiting to call in your soulmate, and don't feel it's the right timing because your priorities are your children. Your children are, are your re first responsibility. Then, you know, this is about you uh, making sure that you can do time management really well. Um, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to meet somebody if this is your, this is your passion and what you truly want to do and your goal. But um, there could be issues with children um, in a relationship if you're in a relationship. So um, maybe they have children or you have children. Okay, or maybe you're planning to have children. So um, it doesn't say it's bad. It just says your love life is being affected by children. Okay. So let's see what we've got here for our outcome card. And that is a card where we have to release things. We have to surrender to something. We have to uh, see what changes are coming in and how we're going to process and handle those situations. Okay, they're flying out today. Surrender to low self-esteem and surrender to the awe of who you are. So that's how you're going to get over low self-esteem. If you're feeling that things aren't working out, I mean, I don't see a problem here with money. I think you're very good in business, but maybe on, in relationships, you're not <clears throat> as secure. Maybe you don't feel as secure or confident in relationships. So uh, for whatever reasons, let go of that. Okay, you deserve success. You deserve love. You deserve abundance. So set an intention to identify and release any of those remnants of low self-esteem. Okay, none of us is perfect. We all come in with baggage of some sort. We're all flawed. Uh, you know, so just let it go. Surrender to the wonder and awe of who you are. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow okay live in the moment don't worry about that next nanosecond because it might not even come we have no guarantee what that next second is going to bring we can plan we can do what we want but you know the powers that be and circumstances can just flip that on its head so live in the moment okay don't allow yourself to start worrying about something or um, thinking about something not working out before you even get there don't assume anything Okay, let's see what we have here for your outcome card. Are you For your focus. <clears throat> Those were your outcome cards. What do you need to focus on this week? What is your priority that you need to be made aware of here? My beautiful Capricorns. What do you need to focus on? Spirit and guides. What do they need to focus on? For my beautiful Capricorns. All right, we've got a card that flipped over. We've got another card that fell in my lap, and I'm taking it. The answers you need are coming. That's the full moon in Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini energy. Um, and the energy is gaining momentum, and this is a waxing moon. So if you've been waiting for something to happen, it's coming in. Everything comes in at perfect timing and divine timing, and it doesn't doesn't care about our ego's timing. Um, but there will be some answers coming in that you might need that you've been requiring, Okay. Things are going to start moving now at a steady pace. So if you've been kind of sitting in limbo, and I don't see any cards here that re are reflective of that, but if you feel as though you've been sitting in limbo, um, know that things are going to start to pick up momentum now. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, this is your extended reading for the week of March the 20th to the 26th. And again, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week to look forward to. I continue to always send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon, Capricorn.